Underlay have probably been around for about 80 odd years or so. Um, initially an underlay wasn't used, uh, but now due to the advantages which we've already identified, then depending on the circumstances, it may be now recommended to incorporate an underlay when it's being refitted. There are two types of uh, underlays generally recommended. One is the Class A building paper, which is to BS1521, and the other is the geotextile underlay. But depending on the substrate the lead is being fitted to, and let's say, for example, lead is being fitted to uh, plywood or a concrete substrate, such as a cornish detail, then we'll probably recommend the Class A building paper, which is to the BS1521, which is an impermeable membrane layer. However, if you're fitting lead onto, say, softwood boarding with penny gaps to allow for passive ventilation, then the needle punch geotextile underlay would probably be recommended in that situation. Underlays generally do not need replacing. The only time you'll probably replace an underlay is during the installation of a new roof. I think the key considerations for a specifier when considering an underlay, again, is what is lead being fitted onto. Is it being fitted onto plywood or concrete or softwood boarding with penny gaps? When designing lead work, you need to refer to the raw lead sheet, the complete manual, to ensure you specify the right details for every project.